Welcome back to another vlog. So quite a while ago, I don't know how many vlogs ago in the life of vlogging, I did my motorcycle test and a lot of people thought that was a bit strange as I'm actually a motorbike racer's job. But in hindsight, it's actually really common for modern day motorbike racers not to have their motorbike license because years ago when guys started racing like sort of people like in Whitton's era that it was really common to get your bike test before you even had your car test. They went and got a bike test, passed that, were a bit mad on the road and thought they were a bit of a lad so they thought yeah screw it I'm gonna go racing. So that doesn't really happen now because most people don't bother with getting a, a bike for the road as it's sort of died off. They just wait and get a car license especially because of the weather and stuff. But yeah so I'm waffling. <laughs> Basically I passed my bike test in December, which is quite a few months ago now, but because the weather's been crap and I've got quite a nice little first time bike that I didn't want to get dirty, I'm gonna today take it for its very first spin. So yeah, I am a little bit worried. I do quite a bit of cycling and stuff on the road, so I know what not saying all these are bad drivers, but I know what car drivers are like. Basically, yeah, I'm gonna have my first ride out. And the reason for doing this is probably is a little bit fresh still. It's nice and clear day and, and dry and stuff, but it's still a little bit cold. But the reason for that is, uh, second thing I've ever done for the first time in my life, I have bought a brand new van, something I've, I've never owned a brand new car, van, anything like that in my life. But if you've been watching these vlogs, you'll have seen that with my new job as being the team manager and stuff, I spend a hell of a lot of time in my van. So I thought um, now would be as good a time as any to treat myself to having something decent if you're gonna be spending a lot of hours in it. So that's the reason for getting the bike out firstly. We're gonna to go to, it's probably an hour away from my house. This has been on order for quite a while. I've bought the van off a company called uh, Steadplan, which is a, a really big van dealer in England and they work really closely with a company called Rampage. So basically Rampage is like a tuning company, I think as such. You think like Fast and the Furious springs to mind, not like that. <laughs> yeah, so basically I bought the van off Steadplan and then they've then sent it to Rampage for me and then it's basically got pimped up. So as you can probably tell in my voice, I'm super excited to see it. I haven't seen any pictures of it enough and they've literally they've literally told me obviously I've seen the, the specs of other vans and stuff as what they can do and um, the guys there have kept me on a bit of a teaser saying no we'll not send it to you till you turn up so yeah they literally they literally messaged me last me last week when I was away and said your van's ready so if you want to come and get it and that is today's plan so firstly we're getting out on the RGV 250 for the very first time and then I'm going to get my new van for the very first time so all good this is by no means me bragging about getting something new but it's all part of my job and what I do and I've genuinely bought the van and I'm excited to tell you that that's what I've done and show you what, what I've got so um, yeah come along for the spin I wonder if she'll start. That was definitely a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Come here, so. This is. This is. Come here. This is. Is it? Oh yes. Oh, she's going. You wanna come for a spin? How much are you going to miss, Daddy? Oh dear. Do you not want him to go?
Right, so to many people's surprise, I have actually made it here. Um, slightly cold, I'm not gonna lie, but my first go on the bike was, I can see now why people want to actually have a road license. I've never understood before. But yeah, um, I made a trip. So basically we're in, where are we? Burnley? No. Rishton. Rishton. Sounds posh, Rishton compared to Burnley. So it's probably like an hour's drive from my house uh, if you went up the motorway, but I went a better road, like a little back way through uh, Hebden Bridge and place I got there. So the, the ride was actually really good. The bike was mega, but more importantly, we're now at Rampage. You can probably see from all the cool vans behind me on both sides. Uh, I don't know if the sun's making a bit bad. Rampage now. So this is the styling company, like I said before. So we bought the van off the guys at Stead Plan. They work closely with the guys at Rampage and they have took the van straight from Stead Plan to here to pimp it up. And I, um, I haven't seen it yet. So when I walk in with my camera for the first time, you guys are going to see it at the same time as me. So we're going to go and do that now. Follow me. Are you going to show us around? Don't do that yet. <laughs> this this is Jake, right? And he this is, who, this, is who, this is who owns Rampage, and he's really reluctant. He's really reluctant to be on the camera, so we're we're gonna try and get him on. Are you gonna do any talking? Max is the talking. Right. Yeah, yeah, look, Lee, what's that? Are we allowed? Are we allowed to see the van now? <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Actually, see it through the logo. How sick is that? Oh man! <laughs> it looks cool. Really cool. Right, let's go and have a proper look. It looks loads better even than I thought in my head, or I can imagine on pictures. This is the actual logo of the company, so. And this is all the other stuff. I presume this is just Jake's office, but there are these cool pickups, all sorts of vans. Sick. Look at this one. That is well cool. Let's go and have a look. You're an absolute natural. Is it on? What? Is that on? No, it's not on now. No. Not <laughs> He's really trying hard not to be on the camera. You never know when you record. Oh man, this oh, is so good. You need to get the keys and... Right. I'm gonna have a complete walk around. Oh, it looks so good. Look at the wheels and the sideboard. Sick. Don't know what it must feel like when someone goes to like a Ferrari dealership or a Porsche dealership, because I am absolutely peaking to have a new transit van. So, all the upgrades is obviously, it's got Rampage wheels, Rampage sidebars, Rampage spoiler. And then the biggest, I think the biggest difference is probably, well, it's got colour coded mirrors. And then the, the biggest thing is obviously different grille, different front bumper, splitter. And like I said again, the wheels. Cool little. Oh man, so chopped. Comes with a full plastic floor. I don't know if that's like a, a different thing or an upgrade or whatever. Basically, when I, the only thing I'm going to put in the back of it now, I've got a proper front wheel holder um, for carrying my bikes around. So, yeah, I'll chuck that in. And that's the only thing I need to, need to go in the back of it. Spoiler. Oh, yeah, it's even got proper mud flaps and stuff. So it doesn't um, obviously get stone chips and stuff on there. He's dying to get no. on the camera now, look. Are you going to talk? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's mega. It's actually loads better than what I thought it was going to look like. I'll get some slow mos and stuff of around the outside and the difference on the bumpers and stuff. I'm going to chuck in like in the description below if you guys have any questions or whatever. Just chuck them in and I'll ask, I'll ask Jake and the, and the boys here. The other thing, I mentioned the spec of the van, um, the actual base van. It's called a Limited, so it's the, the, the best spec you can, you can buy off Ford. I was thinking of the old version of the Transit, so I'll, I'll I'll either blank that out or it'll, you'll not even know I've said it. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions stuff, there's quite a lot of other nice stuff in the workshop here. So they also do uh, like Ford Rangers and, and all sorts of bands pretty much. But I'll maybe get a bit of a look around and just give you guys an idea of 
the wheel packages and all the other the other styling kits and stuff that they do because it's um it's really high end and, and top quality so if that helps some of you guys out i'm all for it i'm absolutely jumped a bit with uh with my new arm so yeah He done it? No, he sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Forward an inch. Too much. Go back. <laughs> right, so you might have seen in the back of the shot when I was sitting looking at my van. There's actually another uh, van that's just ready. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Oh. Um, there's another van that's literally just ready, and it's it's a black version of the same same van. So just just so you can have an idea of. What a, what a different colour looks like. It looks pretty sick in black as well. Just to be a bit hard to keep clean. So yeah, I'd mentioned, I'd mentioned that they do, obviously vans and then all the, I think a pickup is the right word, or Jeeps or 4 by 4s So this one's not by any means finished, but the guys here, I didn't realise this, I thought they just bought the kits in and stuff, but they develop all the kits. It's actually their bumpers and everything that they have made. So this is a Ford Ranger just sitting here at the minute. You can see they've got the grill and stuff out of it. But they've made these really cool light bars and I'm gonna actually get for one of my pickups. So that they could, this isn't this is not on the market, you can't even buy them yet or anything, that's a prototype up there. They've got their own wheels. Obviously this one just hasn't got the oh it does have it. a little rampage logo right in the side. But yeah, so the arch is not on the side of this one yet, but this is what it looks like when it's got the full full arch kit on. And the coolest part of the whole thing, right? I didn't realise this does this, so the lights like that, if you literally go, open the door, it does that. <laughs> How sick is that? But yeah, so there's there's loads of, you'll see the, see the racking above, oh, turn my head, see the racking above my head, that is literally all their own wheel arch kits, alloys that they just sell separate. All the little finishing touches with the rampage stuff and the grill and stuff in these is absolutely awesome. There's not one to look at in here now, but yeah, so I'm just gonna waz all that in the in the description below. If you want anything off these guys, they've been the service and stuff I've had's been unbelievable. I know a lot of people say, Oh, it's because you're more about race or whatever, but I literally rang them up. So that's why I've wanted to show it off. They've, they've been more than mega, both Stead Plan and, and the ramp the guys here at Rampage. So I'm gonna chuck my little bike in the back of my van and we're gonna hit the road. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it somehow helps the system of me getting more followers and die for now. <laughs>